Has Gallup ever been on the ice before? Not like this, no. He's, he's a natural born athlete. I know, I think you were supposed to go to the Olympics, babe. <gasps> So the skates that you're wearing today are Jackson Ultimas, and they're the same kind of skates that I wore in the Olympics and that I'm wearing today. Fancy! And I'm super happy to tell you that these are now your skates. Oh my gosh, I have brand new skates. Gallup, are you gonna come on the ice too, babe? Mm. Okay, I'm going to be right here. All right, stepping on the ice. We're on! Oh my god. My mind is blown. You're quite good. Thank you. Oh my God. I used to guide my sighted friends around the ice. Really? Yeah. Well, can you guide me around? All right. It's so nice that we have like a free rink for ourselves. Well. Because I'm used to like attempting to skate with a bunch of sighted people that don't know I'm blind. <laughs> so it's like the struggle of a lifetime. But this is so nice. What are you, oh my God. So you are kind of like a YouTube queen. Oh my God, thank you. That's the first time anyone's called me that, I'll take it. What? Yeah. Yeah, I think that your videos are so fun. You are so candid about everything that goes on in your everyday life, which I love and I'm grateful for. Um, but I wanna know, why did you decide to get started in YouTube? So I always grew up wanting to work in entertainment, but then when I went blind at 14 is when I lost most of my vision. Mm -hmm. And when that happened, I started professionally motivational speaking. So I toured all over the world, got to work with some incredible people. I would perform to like 20,000 people in stadiums like Wembley Arena. With what like, was that like? It was intense, it was incredible. It felt like, it felt like validation. But after two years of it, it was like very, very draining. And I felt at the time that I needed another creative outlet outside of speaking that would also allow me to share my story that I would share on stage, but also all the other facets that make me Molly. Mm -hmm. um, so people don't really hire you to talk about like your love of makeup. <laughs> people <laughs> hire you to talk about, you know, mental illness and accessibility and all these super important things that I'm passionate about, but I'm equally as passionate about bubble baths. Right. And I wanted to share that passion with people. <laughs> One of the cool things about you is that you are so interesting, you're so fun, and you being blind is one of the least interesting things about you. Oh my God, thank you. That is exactly what I've been trying to share with the world. I'm a normal millennial girl, and that's how disabled people should be treated. So since you've skated before, was there ever a move that you had trouble mastering. You've mentioned your yes. balance. So. Yes, balance is always the biggest struggle as a blind person with anything. Mm -hmm. For me, I remember one of the things being most frustrated as a, as a kid in class was, I can't remember any of the names, okay. but when you go flat back yes. and one leg is straight out and you're just like... A spiral. Just going. Yes. I think you're ready. I'm gonna help you. Okay. So I'm gonna back up a little bit so we have some space. All right. So we're a little bit in the middle. There we go. So, just, oh my goodness. Oh my God, keep your head up. There you go. Whee! Look at you, oh my God. Eight-year-old Molly is shooketh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my she God. She is so proud of me. I'm really curious, what is it like dating oh. when you're blind? Boy, we, oh my God, where to begin? <laughs> uh, let's start at the beginning. Well, well, my friends who complain about dating in 2019, I'm like, you are lucky, my friend. I have all of those problems, plus blindness, <laughs> plus I travel all the time for work. It's definitely a lot of factors, but right now it's been about three and a half years since my last relationship, and so I felt like- Molly, it's time to get back on the horse. Well, come on, you need to find me someone. Well, uh, do you use Tinder or anything? I have in the past. Okay. I haven't in very long time. So how do you swipe? My mom would swipe <laughs> for me, <laughs> or my friends, trusted friends, would swipe for me. Okay. Or on some occasions, I would just Russian roulette it. 
I would like, I would read the bio. So I would just read the bio, and if they had like enough decent information, like if they had like a good career and a good school right. education, and, like, and I'm gonna take my chance. I'll be like, I'll take the chance. Oh my god! And we'll risk it and see how it goes. Russian roulette. Yeah. yeah. I've done that on Tinder too, and I can see. I feel like it's time to like learn a skate move. So do you, can you do forward crossovers? If I remember. Okay, <laughs> so we're gonna go like this. Oh, it's so romantic. It is romantic. Okay, like. Yes, very good. <laughs> is this right? Yes, it is, it is, Whee! it is. So now, can you do a two foot spin? So you march around in a circle and then you would put your arms in together. Like this? Yes. What is, how are you like the best skater we Yay! I've ever I seen? Yeah, I you all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hear that, Sidies? That's right. <laughs> Molly Burke's here. You actually um, did something really cool in the 2009 Paralympics. I did. Mm -hmm. I was a Paralympic torchbearer for the uh, Vancouver Winter Games. That's incredible. Can you tell me a little bit about that? So this pageant, Miss Teen Canada International, reached out, we're like, hey, we think your story is amazing. We'd love for you to consider being in the Miss Teen Canada International pageant. Figured I'd take a chance. So I ended up doing the pageant. I ended up winning the pageant. Oh, wow. And being the first blind girl to ever win the pageant. Work. Thank you. <laughs> and from that, I think it was Coca-Cola who was sponsoring part of the Olympics. Mm -hmm. They reached out and were like, would you want to run with the Paralympic torch? Oh my God, um, what an honor. So I got the whole suit suited up in my Olympic I know you love garb. a good suit. Oh yes, I love a matching set. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like it's time to learn another move. I'm down, let's do it. I think that you have the heart of a champion. Wow. And I'm gonna You're a smooth talker, Adam. <laughs> and all the right words to say. So I want to teach you a waltz jump. We're gonna go like this. Okay. And you're gonna go from your left foot to land that way on your right foot. Okay. And I think you totally can do it. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Okay, so I just like... So you're gonna go from your left foot. So I just... Ah! Yeah! <laughs> Yay, you're such a good teacher. Oh my God, uh, yes, my best student. You know what's crazy is like, I know how hard that was for me when I first started skating. I can't imagine what it's like to try to do all of this blind. You know, I feel like, for me at this point, it's my every day. Mm -hmm. It's like I've, I've learned to adjust and adapt and there's been so many challenges along the journey to get to where I am today. The biggest thing that I always share with people who are also struggling is the power of self-acceptance mm -hmm. um, and just learning to truly love yourself and that like, love yourself aren't just right. like cute Instagram captions. Yes. Like it's a real thing that you feel and you live and you work on every day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, to, to accept my situation because at the end of the day, I can't change it. Right. And then to learn to embrace it and find the positives in it. And you know, now to me, a situation arises and I really don't even think about negatives. I'm like, what are all the great things that this thing has brought to my life? Mm -hmm. And one of those great things is obviously my guide dog, Gallup. Oh my God, I love Gallup. I feel like we should maybe get him on the ice. I'm like 100% down. He was born and raised in Montreal, which is a very icy okay. city. So yeah. I think he's he can ready. handle it. He can do this. Hi, babe. Don't jump, sir. It's icy. <laughs> I don't want you to hurt your paws. Yes. Do you want to skate? Look. You're on ice. Do you see you're on ice? Gallop, you're doing such a good job. Oh, oh he's pulling me. He Look is. At this. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my gosh. Okay, let me grab your harness. Okay. <laughs> here, I'm going to get on Whee! your side right here. Whee! Right like this. He knows exactly where we're going. Look. Is he slipping? No. Oh, my gosh. No, not at all. <laughs> Oh my God. He's getting faster. He is. We're picking up speed, people. <laughs> we are picking up speed. <laughs> oh my God, Gallup. When you put your mind to it and you focus on finding those challenges and overcoming them every single day, hopefully one day I can be as cool as you are. Oh, please. <laughs> I think you're there. If not, then some. But it's funny that you said that because I feel like I learned something similar from you. 
um, that if, as cheesy as this is gonna sound, <laughs> that when you have like the right partner there supporting you to do something, that even if you think you can't, you're gonna get there. Let's cheers to that. Yes, absolutely. Cheers. To hot chocolate. And to Russian roulette on Tinder. Absolutely. Absolutely. Mm. That's the That's stuff. good. Well, you know what? I think it's time that we perform our Paris program together. Oh my goodness, I'm ready. Let's do it. Mm hmm Good. And now let's do our spins side by side. Okay, yes. Uh-huh. And the arms in. Yes. Whee! And now I'm here. Now we'll hold hands. Okay, and then are we doing the like? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> See, and we I saved it. it. We so saved well. it. Okay. <laughs> you got it. You got it. There we go. Whee! That's good. Okay. Now let's stop. Let's do like another like bird okay. movement. There we go. And you go. You go back where I'll go forward. Very good. A bird moment. Okay. Now. And then should we do the like crossover one where absolutely. I like? Absolutely. Yes. Okay. Crossover. There we go. Uh huh. I totally remember this moment. Wow. Okay, now I'm gonna do like spin you. Whee! And then this way. And now I feel like it's the waltz jump time. Oh goodness. Okay. Whee! Okay. Okay. No. Okay. This is the big. Okay, so I go. Left to right. Yes! Whee! Okay, now we need to do an ending pose. Okay. Wait, let's like twirl into it maybe? Okay. We'll twirl this way. Twirl. And then like. Poof. I feel like we nailed it. You were fantastic. Olympic gold medalist right here. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching another episode of Break the Ice. I'm Adam Rapun and this is Molly Burke. You can follow her at. At Molly Burke Official on Instagram, at Molly B Official on Twitter, because Burke wouldn't fit. YouTube.com slash Molly Burke Official, where the behind the scenes vlog of this day will be. Make sure you like and subscribe and hit the bell, and we are out. Bye.